And welcome to Empowering Healthcare Providers or Payers, the journey to modern management with Windows 365 and Intune. For the next 30 minutes, we plan to cover current challenges we see in this space, why the journey to modern management is very important, the future of AI in Windows 365, and at the end, we're going to pass it off to one of our awesome partners, Cyclotron, to go over some of the offerings they have to help you with your modern management journey to Intune and Windows 365. But before we get started, let's do just a quick round of intros of our speakers today. Kevin? Yeah, hi, my name is Kevin Bolin. I'm a senior cloud endpoint technical specialist supporting mostly um, payers uh, for health and life sciences. I've been with Microsoft total about uh, 13 and a half years. Uh, welcome. Thanks, Kevin. And I'm Laura Nordman. I'm also a cloud endpoint technical specialist and I cover both payers and providers. I've been with Microsoft a little over two years and I have over 10 years of IT experience ranging from help desk to system administration. And last but not least, Scott. Hey everyone, my name is Scott Winslow. I'm the identity and devices manager at Cyclotron. Uh, I handle pre-sales, project delivery, practice developments uh, for all the identities and devices. Uh, I've been doing uh, IT for about 33 years, and I've got uh, about 24 years focused primarily on Microsoft Consulting. Awesome. Thanks, Scott. So let's jump in and get started. So what are some current challenges that we actually see in the payer space? I would say that probably our number one that actually just then trickles down into the rest of them is that uh, there's just a lot of complexity and costs with managing legacy on-premise solutions, which then trickle into, well, now I got to manage physical hardware, either from the infrastructure side or from your remote or flexible workforce. And then there's some difficulties with just having a app management strategy that you have disparate apps that aren't integrated and then they become a, a difficult management especially when you have a flexible workforce and of course a lot of IT um, folks are being asked to do more with less because of budget constraints and then this ultimately trickles down into some employee turnover and reduction if you're not providing the best experience for your employees either from the IT and admin side or from your remote workforce or flexible work side what is it for them to stay when they can go somewhere else and be able to have that flexible strategy or some of the modern technology that they're looking for? So before we uh, deep dive into Windows 365, I think it's really important that we talk about our modern management journey and where you are in the process because you won't be super successful with Windows 365 if you haven't taken some of the steps to uh, start your modern management process to Intune. So if we think back to some of the challenges that I just discussed, uh, what can we do to solve this problem? And usually the question I then ask uh, my customers when they say, well, you know, Windows 365 is great, uh, but you know, maybe we're not fully there yet. Then I ask like, where are you on this modern management journey? Are you still on your on-premise? Were you doing legacy imaging, uh, managing GPOs, uh, using WSUS for your update strategy? Or maybe you're more in the middle where you've just started to dip your toe in that modern management water. And you have some things moved over to Intune, but not everything. Um, so what if I told you that Windows 365 could help you accelerate your process into more of that Intune cloud managed uh, workspace? Uh, does that sound awesome? I think it does. Uh, but if you really think about it, uh, a lot of my customers, when we're talking about this, they're uh, some of the roadblocks that they have as well, you know, I have a remote workforce, it's hard for me to send devices, or I'm worried about disrupting my end user from a day to day perspective by sending them configs or asking them to test. Windows 365 is a great strategy for that. It's a cloud PC, you can either do hybrid or cloud managed. You push configs to it, you can push your auto patch configs, uh, you can do your testing, and you're not disrupting your end user because it's just a completely separate device that they can use to connect with their primary device that they have on hand. And if something were to blow up or you pushed a config that isn't working, it's just a quick reprovision. It's not like I have to send my device back, I have to re-image it and then send it back to the end user to go testing. 
And some of the benefits you get from that is that you are fast tracking yourself to Intune because you're doing all this testing and then you're preparing yourself for the future where you're going to have a cloud PC potentially paired with a low cost device like one of our Surface Go's. And it could become the norm where you're not sending uh, hardware out all the time. You're just sending a Surface Go and all they're doing is connecting into a cloud PC. And, you know, I to me, I think that is the ultimate vision uh, for where we want to go with just modern endpoint management in general. You're not managing a whole bunch of physical devices. You can have it all cloud managed. It's on 24 seven, so you can push configs. You can manage it. You can reprovision it and it's not disrupting the end user from a day to day. And now I'm going to pass it off to Kevin and he's going to discuss in greater detail on how Windows 365 can greater help you uh, when you start thinking about the future of AI in your environment. Kevin. Thanks, Lauren. Let me see if I can take control here. I think it's working. Let me move forward. So one of the things that I talk a lot uh, to my customers about is it, it, you know, unless you're dead, right? You, you've, you've heard about uh, generative AI, right? And Copilot and all the things that Microsoft's bringing to the table with this. And one of the things that I have a conversation with them about, as Lauren said, right? Windows 365 is a paradigm shift from a traditional VDI. And I have a lot of customers that use traditional VDI and they manage, you know, with different management consoles or, or management planes, whether it's Citrix or VMware, um, you know, that's how they manage, right? The nice thing about Intune um, is that it manages everything in one place, right? So you're you're doing conditional access policies, application protection policies. Um, you're, you know, doing auto patch. You're managing mobile devices. You're managing physical devices. You're managing Windows 365. So everything in one place, right? That, that equates to simplicity, right? It makes it simpler to manage your environment and also it reduces costs by um, ramping in that sprawl, right? With a lot of different tools that our customers have. And on top of Intune, we have something called the Intune Suite, which adds additional capabilities to Intune as well, like cloud-based PKI, um, uh, enterprise application management, which is basically a catalog at Microsoft manages for you with third-party applications so you get out of the packaging business. Um, there's just a lot of different pieces to this and we're gonna be continually adding more. The other thing that I need to mention is one of the pet peeves of mine, right, that I talk to customers a lot about is um, generative AI. And generative AI is being built into Intune with advanced endpoint analytics and security copilot. So you will be able to ask it a question using natural query language, it will return the data back to you. Uh, you can do stuff like tell it to create you a policy. And then it'll you can look at the policy and say, hey, that looks good or it doesn't look good and have it change it. And then you can do a what if. So uh, my customers struggle a lot with policy overlap, especially when they're transitioning from on-prem into cloud. What you're looking at here on this slide, right, is this journey and and it is a journey, right? Our customers are all over the map. There, there some of them are co-managed. Some of them have a totally different, um, you know, VDI solution that you're trying to transition uh, in into what we call, um, you know, modern work. Um, so there's no right or wrong answer here. It's just kind of where do you fit right on this timeline, and why is this really important, right? To prepare for Copilot because Windows 365 is a real secure um, operating system that end users can get to from any device. It's it's basically running in a bubble, right? So you can get out of the, the hardware management business and allow them to bring their own PC. I have a lot of customers that are they're looking at that, uh, especially for contractors, right? Which is a great use case for that. Um, so this is just kind of a representation of you know, where you are in your journey. But this one here, right? Streamline and consolidate tools with Microsoft Intune. Really important because it's a money saver and it's a time saver. When you have everything built that's to, in it, to, to provide data back and forth in an integrated way, it simplifies the process of being able to secure those endpoints, to manage those endpoints, to deploy those endpoints, especially when you're talking Windows 365. Uh, the days of autopilot are gone with that. You, we have something called provisioning. You can select a gallery image, which is 
Uh, Microsoft hosted um, image for Windows 11, Windows 10, including M365 app, and Microsoft manages for you that, and you just select it, and you can layer your apps and your security over the top of it. <clears throat> so, you know, what do we what do we mean when we say um, what are the components right of of modern management right devices. Uh, meaning mobile devices, tablets, whatever operating system, you know, that's running on that device. Every user needs some type of device to connect. Um, the other thing that's really important is endpoint security, right? Using stuff like MFA with Authenticator. Um, that's going to become more important when, when we see AI being weaponized. You're going to have to secure your environment. You can also manage the rollout of M365, you know, with Intune by creating policies. Um, management, right? Built for an entire device estate, including personal devices. That's Intune, right? It can manage all of them, right? It can Android, iOS, physical, you name it, right? And then, of course, collaboration apps. Apps that work across the stack, right? Like M365. It's the same concept with Windows 365 as it used to be with Office. It's just running in the cloud. I use it every day, right? I can get to it from my own personal device. Uh, and I prefer to do that, right? If I go to a friend's house, I can actually get to it from there as well. Really quickly, right? It safeguards data. So when you have Windows 365 that's built, uh, you know, from the ground up for zero trust and security, managed with Intune, managed with the policies, and then running M365, you're setting yourself up for success when it comes to um, M365 copilot. And then, you know, rapid development of new Copilot AI capabilities. As I mentioned, we're building uh, generative AI into Intune, and it, it is a really, really cool feature. You know, just imagine being able to say, show me all my endpoints that are affected by this whatever virus or whatever. It'll return that data back to you. And then you can also go to M365 Copilot, have it create your PowerPoint so you can hand it to leadership. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to turn it over to Scott so that he can tell you all the great things that Cycloton um, is doing for our customers when it comes to this. Great. Thanks, Kevin. Absolutely. Uh, let me see here if I can get forward. OK. All right. I'm not sure that slide looks a little messed up there, but let me tell you a little bit about Cyclotron. Uh, Cyclotron is a Microsoft Gold partner, originally based out of San Francisco, but we have a national presence today. Uh, and we cover essentially all the products in the Microsoft stack, right? So whether that is device management, uh, Entra ID, uh, Purview for compliance, Defender, everything, including uh, Azure uh, as a platform and other services. Um, Cyclotron, uh, in, in addition to our, our gold partner status, Cyclotron also holds um, all of the security advanced specializations that Microsoft has and a solution partner designation, which is just a, a long way of saying that uh, regardless of what your Microsoft need is, we can help you with your project. Um, as part of our security practice, identity and devices handles uh, more than 30 uh, Intune enterprise deployments every year. Uh, including uh, migration from third-party MDMs, co-management integration with Microsoft Configuration Manager, uh, greenfield deployments, best practice assessments, uh, remediation of your existing environment, as well as uh, Intune suite rollouts and Windows 365 rollouts. Uh, and then last year, Microsoft uh, rated us uh, number five uh, in the E5 security revenue impact in the US, uh, where we had impact on over 800 thousand seats. So um, we we work with customers that are SMB, small uh, customers, all the way up to customers with tens of thousands of seats, right? So we've got experience in the healthcare and healthcare payor industry um, uh, with uh, customers like uh, Premira, Blue Cross, Molina Healthcare, Mercy Health, Johnson Johnson, Cedar Sinai, uh, we, and a lot more, right? So we, we've got plenty of experience and background to help you out with your project, regardless of what your need is. 
Um, so let's talk a little bit about what we do. So in, in addition to device management, we cover the whole suite, as I said. Uh, so we we protect against uh, threats with a defender suite, a EDR and XDR. Um, we handle compliance uh, and uh, risk with purview and DLP, uh, securing identities with Entra ID. All of these are part of the overall picture. And uh, we can help you uh, regardless of what your, your need is, uh, specifically to your device management uh, requirements. So uh, if you need to do Defender integration for Defender for Endpoint on your workstation to protect them for, with antivirus or anti-malware, we can help you there. Uh, and we can also help with uh, tenant to tenants, mergers and acquisitions, et cetera. Obviously, the focus here is on uh, securing devices. Uh, where we do uh, a large number of Intune uh, Configuration Manager deployments um, every year. Uh, and whether that's a hybrid uh, uh, implementation with your on-prem Active Directory or a cloud native where we're, we're connecting your devices directly to um, Entra ID, we can get you connected quickly and easy uh, and minimize that user um, uh, risk and, and uh, improve the user experience. So um, today, most organizations that we're working with um, look something like this, right? Where they have some implementation of device management. Um, either they have little in the way of management or they're using on-prem tools or a third-party MDM where they, they have some control over their Windows devices, but maybe not their mobile platforms or their Mac OS platforms. Um, today, maybe they're not doing cloud patching or uh, in order to let the, their remote users connect, they've got to establish a, a VPN connection manually. Um, this is pretty common, right? Most organizations start off in this process because they're using um, the old method of uh, leveraging on-prem assets and uh, on-prem firewalls in a specific location to create kind of a boundary or border uh, to protect their devices. Um, and But today, most organizations find that um, they either are having to allow remote help, remote work, or travel, right? And you want to make sure that your devices are covered at all times. Uh, and so having your devices cloud connected and cloud managed is going to facilitate that um, much better. Uh, so the next slide here, if we take a look, we see that um, this is kind of the future state. This is where most organizations want to go to. This is where um, we have visibility for all your devices, right? To be able to properly manage and control your devices, first you need to be able to see those devices, right? And whether that's Windows 10 Workstation, Mac OS, iOS or Android Mobile or Tablet, um, Chrome OS, Linux Desktop, right? Intune can manage your devices and uh, put them all in one place. As Kevin had mentioned earlier, right? It's that kind of single pane of glass, single control plane. We want to make sure we can see the devices and then uh, allow um, controls over those devices. Um, the other piece, the, the, the bottom piece of this is the is the personal devices. So a lot of organizations allow uh, people to leverage their personal devices to access corporate content, right? Whether that's email only or maybe some SharePoint data or, or other things, right? Uh, and you need to have controls in place to be able to protect your content, right? Once the content's on a personal device, do you know where that is going to go? Is it going to be saved? Is it going to be forwarded? Is it going to be used, right? So Intune provides application protection policies, which allow you to implement controls over how that data is used without actually having to manage a personal device, right? So you could have your device fully managed from a corporate asset standpoint and have full controls, full visibility, and have um, uh, definitive uh, control over your content. And from a personal device standpoint, you can use app protection policies where you don't have full visibility and full control because it's a personal device, but you can protect the, the content that the user is accessing, preventing them from saving, cut, copy, paste, uh, things of that nature. 
The other piece here is that because you're doing cloud-based management uh, using Intune, you can make sure that those devices are being properly managed and updated at all times, right? So whether that's a Windows 10 device or a mobile platform, you can make sure that they're, they have the most current updates um, and that you have compliance policies in place to ensure your devices are uh, in a state where you approve their access to your content. Um, hands pre hands free provisioning is a big piece of that, right? So as Kevin had mentioned earlier, um, you've got autopilot with your Windows 10 devices. You've got hands free uh, hands free provisioning with your Mac OS and iOS and and Google devices. Uh, and with Windows 365, you don't even have to go through an autopilot build process. You simply apply the image from the gallery and you're able to get up and running very, very quickly. Um, and then the other great part here is that there's, you know, with cloud based management means that there's no VPN needed to be able to manage the device. The device is being managed by Intune all the time. Right. Going on. Let's just talk a little bit about how Cyclotron approaches uh, a project um, because it's important to understand that there's a lot of investment in infrastructure and architecture for most companies we're working with. And it's it's pretty uh, common for most customers to have a pretty extensive uh, Active Directory infrastructure, a lot of on-prem assets. And, and it can be daunting when you start to talk about moving to a cloud-based management approach. Most uh, customers are concerned, well, I have a, I have a lot of on-prem assets. What am I going to do? How am I going to be able to continue to access those things? Um, and so th there's a hybrid approach to be able to connect your devices both on-prem and in the cloud, and then there's cloud native as well. And even with the cloud native approach, you can still access your on-prem assets, right? You can leverage Kerberos Cloud Trust with your Hello for Business. Uh, and uh, even Microsoft's new secure service edge with um, uh, private uh, access. So our projects, uh, when we work with our, our clients, is uh, we, we start off by making sure that we fully understand what your needs are from, um, from a business objectives uh, and, and, and requirements standpoint. We do a full capabilities overview to make sure that your technical team has a full understanding of what's capable, what's possible. And we do a deep dive into your existing environment to make sure we identify any potential issues or hurdles that we may have to address uh, in uh, deployment of the project. Uh, then we move into our de design phase where we leverage the information that we discovered in our phase one, and we map out uh, the, the policies, configurations, and settings uh, in a best practices format uh, into what we call an SDF, which is a solution deployment framework. So our SDF is essentially a 40 to 50 page document that is a living document that lasts throughout the project and it's deliverable at the end of the project, which includes all the discovery information, all the configuration information, testing, validation, um, operationalization, um, and then even long-term considerations for future planning after the project's closed, right? So um, we want to make sure that uh, you've got everything in one place uh, at the end of the project. We didn't come in and 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 make any changes, but uh, and that you don't know about, you know everything that's going on. And then in phase three, we move into the build and configure phase, where we work hand-in-hand -hand with your team to implement the changes that we designed, right? After you approve the design and we've got everything laid out, we work hand in hand with your team, right? Which usually means that we can either do the button pressing and do a, a screen share throughout that process, or we can have your team do the configuration uh, and deployment while we guide them through the process, right? Hands-on knowledge transfer all throughout the project. It's important that at the end, this is a product that you're going to want to use, you're gonna know how to use, and it's gonna make your life easier, right? So we wanna make sure that you're comfortable with how the product works and um, how to be able to move ahead with future deployments, okay? In phase four, we're moving into the testing phase, right? So this is where we would uh, develop a test matrix and, and use cases with your organization and uh, go through and, and do full testing of the solution. 
if you if we were doing a proof of concept, this is kind of where that proof of concept project would end with with your team. Uh, and you'd be able to test and evaluate the product at that point. Uh, once we've gotten through in all of our validation and rounds of remediation and testing, we would move into phase five, which is the pilot, right? This is where we're actually doing live user experience testing uh, and collecting user feedback in preparation for final deployment. Phase six is final deployment, where we provide support throughout the deployment process to make sure that everyone is happy and everything is functioning well. And then finally, the last thing I want to talk about here is uh, change leadership, right? So the, one of the most important success criteria for a project outside of actually getting the product deployed is ensuring that you have happy users at the end of the project, right? That end user impact is huge in a lot of projects. So we have a full change leadership uh, 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 team that is able to work with your team to be able to develop and create uh, training, guidance, documents, email communications, videos, whatever is necessary to guide your users through the process end to end and make it a happy project. Uh, that's all I've got. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Well, this wraps up uh, our session on empowering our uh, healthcare pairs with Windows 365 and Intune. Before you leave today, we would love to hear your feedback on today's session. Just a couple of different questions on, uh, you know, how we can improve or what you would like to see in the future. Additionally, if you want to learn more about Windows 365 or would like to get into contact with uh, Scott and Cyclotron, we do have uh, some a piece in there where you can put in your name and we can reach out to you uh, after our webinar. So again, uh, Kevin, Scott, I think uh, we all can wrap it up and thank you again for joining and hope to see you again for a future presentation. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.